Hi, this is Kevin Trainer, and welcome to my tutorial on how to clone the uh, shared content repository that we're using in the senior capstone uh, onto uh, your uh, UWM SOAS uh, server account. Okay, now. Uh, if some of the students in the class are using uh, Windows 10, others of the students are using Mac OS, I've uh, provided separate uh, tutorials for uh, each of those operating systems to tell you how to uh, find the program uh, or install the program that you need uh, to log on to your uh, SOAS server account using uh, a program called SSH. Okay, and that's a, uh, a secure command line interface. Once you've done that with uh, one product or the other in either OS environment, you're going to have a screen that looks kind of like this you're going to be at the Linux uh, command line. If you're not here yet and you need to find out how to get here, uh, go find the tutorials, uh, go find the tutorial for your operating system uh, and run that and then come back here. Okay, so once you log in, it, it, you're at the Linux uh, at command line. If you want to see what, uh, what's in your home directory, we know we're in the home uh, directory because we have this little uh, tilde, and that's the shortcut name for our home uh, d uh, directory. So we're going to uh, type in an ls, which is going to uh, give us a list of the files and the directories in our um, in our our, our home uh, directory. And one of them looks kind of interesting. It's over here on the right for me. It's a little different uh, color in this uh, particular uh, terminal on the Mac. I'm doing it on the Mac, but you may be doing it on Windows. And uh, you can see I have, I have access to a directory called www. Now the fact is that that probably isn't in my home uh, directory what's probably there is a shortcut that points to it but and that's why it has a little different uh, color here but I don't care to be, because the shortcut there I can act like it's actually there so uh, what I want to do is I'm going to change my directory to um, a www okay and now I want to see what's in that directory so I'm going to do an ls Okay, now um, the uh, the directory that we're uh, supposed to be working with uh, is going to be called Senior Capstone uh, Fall 2018. That's because I'm recording this in the fall of uh, 2018. Now I hope this uh, tutorial is going to have a good long life. So uh, you, uh, I'm hoping you're in a different semester than this. Okay. Um, when you log in, you shouldn't have a directory for the shared repository that we're, we're about to clone onto your account, okay? In the unlikely case that you do already have a copy, it's a bad copy, okay? Uh, let's, uh, see what you would do to get rid of it, okay? So let's just, uh, pretend... For a minute, that uh, we uh, we accidentally had an old copy of this thing we had to get rid of. So how am I going to simulate that? Well, I'm going to make a directory called Senior uh, Capstone um, Spring. Sorry, uh, Fall uh, Twenty. 18 okay uh, and I just get a return that means it uh, worked uh, typically and if I do an LS again 
you can see, oh yeah, I do have a senior capstone fall 2018. Okay. Um, and uh, what, what I'm realizing here is that that's probably not what I called it. It probably didn't have the underscores. It probably had the, the hyphens. But whatever. If you need to get rid of a directory, okay, and you're really sure you want to get rid of it, okay, uh, you can do the following things. Uh, you can say uh, RM for remove space and then um, uh, dash RF uh, recursive and silent and then you give the name of the uh, directory. So uh, here I think I created it with uh, underscore senior capstone uh, fall 2018. And even if you have a whole directory here and it, it has uh, a true repository in it, it has all the git meta directories and meta files and all that kind of stuff this will blow it away okay so if i do this that one's gone okay now you probably won't have to do that but just in case you had to that's how you get rid of uh you re get rid of a directory in Linux and all the stuff underneath it uh, with a, a, and suppress all the messages that would ask you, do you really want to delete this? Do you really want to delete that? Okay, now, so we're ready to clone the repository uh, here on our SOAS web account and uh, in order to do that, we need the uh, we need to remember the command to do it, which is pretty easy to remember, um, and the URL. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my uh, I'm just going to go to my uh, bit uh, bucket account. Let me use Chrome here. So I'm going to go to uh, bitbucket.org okay and I need to log in okay so I'm gonna log in with uh, my account information for the account that's associated with uh, UWM so mine's called uh, trainer K at UWM.edu that's the email that we're using and uh, I think I still remember the password, so let's see if that's still good. It seems to be taking its time. Oh, didn't like that. I recently changed it, I think. So, okay. Let's hope that works better. And it did. So we'll update that password for the browser. Okay, and in this particular semester, one of the reasons why I told you that uh, you might want to be able to get rid of something that you already uh, cloned to your um, that you already cloned to your uh, SOAS uh, server account is we made an early start with a. Uh, with a repository that was under the account of uh, my good friend Wap Khan, who uh, is the TA in the current semester. And uh, w unfortunately, we discovered yesterday that his account, him not being a, uh, not having an instructor account, he couldn't share it with all of you. Okay. So I created one uh, today on my account. You can see that this. Uh, second one that I, I haven't gotten rid of yet is associated with OWABCON, but this uh, top one is associated with me. This is the real one that uh, I actually want all of you to clone. So um, I'm going to click on this. Okay. And I come to uh, sort of the detail page for this repository. And right now, with the current version of that web page, over here on the right, it says uh, clone. So I click on clone, 
and this uh, box holds the exact um, command that I'm going to use to create uh, to clone the repository it has the proper URL but also if we go over to the left um, you'll see that it says uh, clone as well okay so um, how do I get this well there's a, a little button here to uh, copy to the clipboard so I uh, copy to the clipboard and here you can say uh, you can see now it began with glit uh, uh, get a clone and it, there is a there is a unique URL for each of the users who are authorized on this repository so this is the repository under my ID you can see the trainer K that's here but you can also see the trainer K in the front this says this is my URL to access it as me so of course when I do that it's going to want to know my password and when you do it you're going to have your ID in this initial uh, position and it's going to ask you for your password uh, okay so I clicked on uh, over here to copy it I'm, I'm going to uh, close this window and now I'm, I'm going to go back to my uh, terminal window okay and uh, I'm just going to paste it in okay so uh, in most of uh, these windows you can right click and say paste but if you can't you ought to be able to click there and do um, in on the Mac it's uh, command V on Windows 10 it would be uh, control V for paste so this is the instruction that's going to clone the repository uh, right into our uh, www directory so let's uh, press enter and it wants to know my password for uh, Bitbucket so for that account I'll put in the right password this time okay and it looks like it's uh, done so let's go look uh, so first of all let's do an LS and you can see that we do have a senior capstone fall uh, 2018 there that's good okay so now what I should be able to do is I should be able to go and look at the um, I should be able to go and look at that uh, web page on my SOAS web account I should be able to uh, to find senior capstone fall uh, 2018 and click on it and and actually bring up that uh, site so let's uh, bring up Chrome again okay and get another tab okay so uh, to get to my uh, website associated with my SOAS web account. It's trainerk.uwmsoas.com and I go there and you can see that I have this uh, sort of truncated list of the directories that I have and as you can see I've got 2017 spring that's not it. 2016 fall that's not it. I have a spring that's not it. Then I've got two falls okay uh, and I've got one that was last updated on uh, January 14th and one that was last updated on uh, September 18th I'm betting that the last one is the one that I want and this is it fall 2018 okay and uh, I know that before uh, when I was uh, working with this content I went to my instructor page and I changed the content to make it a little more expressive uh, and that's what, of course what your first assignment is going to be would be to change your student page and now I, I can go to my Logic website I can do all that so that's currently working so I have uh, successfully cloned my um, 
my repository into the right spot so that uh, when I go to the home page for my web account it's on this uh, kind of index list of websites uh, that's in my account and this is a list of all the things that are under that www directory and I wish they had a little bit longer names so we could figure out what's wrong with which but you're only going to have one so it's not going to be such of a hardship okay so we got there okay all right and uh, typically when you're done with a uh, a terminal window um, it's uh, polite to tell that you're done with exit and um, uh, that close the connection to uh, uwmsos.com and now I can just uh, close the window and I'm uh, done okay now uh, I just want to point out that what I've done there is I have uh, cloned the repository so I have a kind of a snapshot of the repository in its current state um, there's another tutorial on how to pull changes that happen in the, in the repository uh, subsequently how to pull them to your uh, your own website a copy that's on your account that's a separate tutorial and I invite you to watch that as well but for now, I'm going to say bye-bye.